Oh, hey. Large parts of their line are already giving way. All right, go for the King's Longbowman then. Um, archers, you just stop doing what it is you're doing. Okay, guys, welcome to the battle. Now, unfortunately, we did not get to start up on the mountain, because of course we couldn't. In fact, the battle actually only extends to right about here. Which, there is kind of a hill here, but um, my deployment zone didn't really extend up to it. So I decided to use this hill instead, which is better than nothing. The slight hill, slight slope. Give us some advantage over the enemy. Obviously, their main force is arrayed in front of us, right over there, and approaching us. And then they've got their reinforcements over here. Now, they are approaching nice and slowly. Well, then again, their main force is, too. Hmm. I was thinking that since the reinforcements are approaching slowly, maybe we could defeat these guys first and then go for them afterwards. But um, since they're all approaching us rather slowly, then that's probably not going to happen. Do not fire at will. You guys are all firing at will, right? Well, if you weren't before, you are now. But basically, I don't want the archers to fire at will because we need them to focus fire on the King's Longbowmen, even though I don't think... I'm not sure they will actually be able to do a lot in the way of damage to them. Another thing that I don't think I pointed out on the campaign map is... The King's Longbowmen also had, like, armor and weapon upgrades and experience. So not only are these, like, King's, like, regular King's Longbowmen, but these are, like, like the cream of the crop. The, the most royal of the King's Longbowmen that we could be facing. So they're going to be a real problem. Just a real, real problem for us. Also, I do think Waka has actually one of the weaker armies at this point, which is kind of funny because his army, with all of its various mercenaries, was once one of our greatest armies. But you see how my guys have no weapon upgrades, no armor upgrades, well, except for that uh, pikeman unit over there. Um, let's see, who can fire? Fire, 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 fire. Just focus on them, basically kind of one at a time and hopefully eliminate some of them. And you see any shots that go over their heads will hit the bowmen behind them. Actually, we're doing pretty good damage. Hooray! We might somewhat survive this. Oh, where are the reinforcements going? I mean, some of them are approaching, but some of them are running up the hill over there. Okay, target this unit in the middle then, because I can't help but notice that you guys are killing more of, like, the mariners in front. But I guess you can't really help that, given your line of sight issues here. Uh, speaking of line of sight issues, the enemy is going to start come crashing into our ranks here very soon, so why don't you guys pull back? Since we are on a hill here, though, I still think that my bowmen, even standing back here, should still be able to fire on the King's Longbowmen. Axemen are throwing their axes. And our hunts or our uh, wolf hunters are throwing their javelins. And they're being shot by the King's Longbowmen. Oh, hey! Large parts of their line are already giving way. All right, go for the King's Longbowmen then. Um, archers, you just stop doing what it is you're doing. All right, cavalry, charge through their center. And you, infantry, pull back. Here, get over here. Attack these guys. You guys get over here and block those guys there. All right, no, no, cavalry, keep going. Just go right for the longbowmen. Oh, shoot. All right, you guys, I guess, just keep attacking them there. You guys, go. You archers, I guess, why don't you fire on some of these units off to the side here? Actually, no, don't fire on them.
Oh, shoot. Um, you guys pull out of there. The enemy is coming. All right. Let's charge these guys forward since they're all broken anyways. Um, let's see. Oh, those are King Spearmen. We definitely don't want to charge them. All right, you guys. Charge here. You archers, fire at those guys in the rear. All right, cavalry. What are we going to do with these guys? All right, you guys attack them there. You guys attack them. You guys attack them. All right, let's bring the cavalry over here, actually, and have them chase down some of these fleeing units to make sure they stay fleeing. Okay, you guys attack them in the rear now. Archers, stop firing. We still have the wolf hunters back here as well as our general. Okay, mercenaries, get over here. Okay, what have we got here? Kingdom's militia... You guys get over here. X-Men, get over here. Okay, you guys attack these guys in the side here. Just this one unit. You guys attack them there. What have we got over here? Okay, we need reinforcements down there. Let's bring these pikemen forward. We could have them try and go get those Westron horsemen. Shaken. Ah, crap. Once again, we have the enemy here. Bringing up some cavalry. Okay, those are Kingdom Militia? No, no. King's Longbowmen over there. Horsemen, get up the side here. What have they got over there? Westron horsemen. See, look at this. King's Longbowmen winning easily against, like, my units over here. You mercenaries pull back. Archers pull forward. This cavalry unit get over here. Yes, X-Men attack from the rear here. Okay, good. That finally broke them. Okay. Let's get all the cavalry over here chasing after these guys. It looks like the reinforcements... It looks like the the reinforcements the enemy had is actually are actually withdrawing. So yes, anyone we could chase down at this point, let's just chase them down. In fact, go get those king's longbowmen. You can definitely catch them. That's a unit we would want eliminated. Of course, all of my units are very tired at this point, so only the cavalry is likely to catch anyone. Yes, yes, you can kill them as you go through. I guess that's technically kind of what you are doing, but still, get just get 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 after the king's longbowmen over there. And of course, a lawnmower is now going in the background, so I do apologize for that. Come on, hurry up and die now. Stop resisting. Okay, 
Okay, I thought that was you guys, but nope. You guys are still killing your way through my cavalry. There we go. Lord of the enemy army is running like a startled goat. Hunt him. Goats make good eating. I don't think that cavalry unit will actually catch them, but... Oh, well. Oh, this was the captain's unit, too. Come on, kill him! There we go. Alright, the last enemy unit on the battlefield is, I think, these guys over here. And I imagine they're going to get away because my cavalry is much too far away. All right. I don't know how many of us, how many of our guys are going to heal, of course, but um, I mean, in, in some ways that went better than I thought it would. I wasn't expecting their center to just immediately give way and kind of allow my cavalry to just charge through like that and kind of get in amongst their other units. At the same, at the same time, we did have stiff resistance on the right flank against some of the units that were over here. That's when we had to commit like the wolf hunters over there. Okay, and they're, they're across. Okay, so nearly 2,000 of the enemy killed for a little less than 300 of ours. I mean, that's not so bad. Let's see, we do have some decent casualties healed amongst the rider mercenaries. Not so many among the axemen, though. Well, actually, that's not true. Most of the Axemen didn't take a lot of casualties, except for this unit here, and it does have about half of those casualties healed, so that's not so bad. Actually, that Mercenary Swordsman unit is one of the ones that did not really do so well. Let's see, but everyone else seemed to do pretty well. Oh, except for actually this unit of Eriador Rider Mercenaries didn't do very well at all. Well, they must not have caught any of the fleeing enemies either, because, I mean, even if a cavalry unit doesn't do a lot of fighting... And here comes that lawnmower again. So, yes, anyway, that rider mercenary unit didn't do so well. And our bowmen did pretty well, though they didn't have a lot to do during the battle, because I guess we were able to hit the longbowmen right there at the beginning, but only at the beginning. Of course, they didn't take any casualties in return. Which is unusual, considering that they had like three or four units of longbowmen themselves. I kind of expected there to be something of an archery duel there. But anyway, let's take this back to the campaign map.